affectionately known as Mrs. Frazzle to her combined audience of over 1.5 million followers, is here to help gentle parent us through this election. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, everybody. I am so honored to speak today. I am like shaking to just be among such incredible company. Um, we are here because as if you were here earlier, you've heard BIPOC women have tapped us in as white women to step up, listen and get involved. This I told you in 2020 that left, right, Democrat, Republican, None of that matters. It's all a matter of the masculine versus the feminine. Masculinity, it is a trait that women can project upon themselves. Femininity is a trait that men can project upon themselves. And it ultimately boils down to how you decide that you want to look at the world, right? There's two different ways to go about it, like a man or like a woman. The coronation of Kamala Harris really highlights that fact that I have been espousing since not just 2020, but the beginning of this channel, the beginning of my time on the Internet. Okay. Okay. First things first, Miss Fedora here. If you had an upper lip, you would, yeah, 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 you could, you could get it. But you have one of those upper lips that disappears when you smile. So we, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, this is definitely a pass. But um, yeah, she's talking about how BIPOC women have tapped in. And they, they, and we as white women need to listen to it, guys. How many times have we heard this shit? This is a broken record. Okay. This, the all the different groups for Kamala Harris, we've seen all of this shit before, and it was annoying then, back when it was so oh, yeah. And, and we go through this through every election cycle, but they have hit the gas on Kamala Harris because they really don't have a choice. Okay, November is not that far away, <laughs> and. A lot of people have just reserved themselves to loss here. But there's 30% of this country that is so brought in to their delusions and brought into their feelings and their emotions that they cannot see the forest through the trees. And 90% uh, in of that 30% happen to be packing a vagina season this is a really important time and we all need to use our voices and influence for the greater good no matter who you are you are all influencers in some way so tonight i'm gonna share some oh my god this, this is like classroom shit she is and as and that's why i talk about the difference between masculine and feminine because as a man lady if you're talking to me like this i'm going to feel rather offended you know but we are talking about uh, BIPOC women of color, particularly black women. Let's be, let's cut out the bullshit here. Black women, all right? Black, they, they, they don't get it. They don't see it. They will not see that. As, they, they see this as being talked to the way that they should be talked to, the way that they want us as black men to talk to them, they, the way that they feel that they deserve to be approached at every single aspect of life you know and this is culturally a hit dog no house so if you feel some kind of way you should feel some kind of way but culturally collectively this is um the kid gloves in which they always feel as if they should be approached and addressed with and you know ariel here she's doing a hell of a job doing with it do's and don'ts for getting involved in politics online <laughs> and navigating the toxicity <laughs> that comes with it and spoiler alert, as much as the toxicity can come from the outside, it can come from us too. So first, don't isolate yourself. We can do our best work when we're in community together like we are tonight, because the toxic feels smaller when we support each other. But don't make it about yourself. <laughs> as white women, we need to use our privilege to make positive changes. Some of the most racist shit I've ever heard in my life. Lady, 
Just raise your fucking kid. Please. With their father. Make sure your child has their father, women. You know what? That is the greatest way women in general can help all of society. Make sure that a child that ch your child has a father, has a proper father. That is there. You're married before you carry. And you, you do your part in raising that little one on up and when you get past that stage you know what I'm saying because like you know life doesn't end once your child becomes an adult you know by all means come out into the workforce do things at a at, like my mom did that my mom she was absolutely magnificent she lived a true feminist utopia of a life because she got her family and once she was done with her family she went out into the workforce and she got her bag there is nothing wrong with that. But culturally, no, 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 no. Because we live in this great experiment called the United States of America. If you find yourself talking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals or God forbid correcting them, just take a beat. They are not to be corrected. Guys, have you ever seen those uh, police cam videos where it's just a black chick and she just does not get it? It does not lock in and she throws a hissy fit. And, and then while she's throwing a hissy fit, she's demanding these different levels of respect. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh and, and, and wanting to control. Yeah, this is why. This right here is why we see this. Um this level of woman who you know feels as if she is beyond reproach when in reality anybody can get checked and instead we can put our listening ears on so do learn from and amplify the voices of those who have been historically marginalized and use the privilege you have in order to push for systemic change as white people we have a lot to learn and unlearn so do check your blind spots you are responsible for this legit feels like 2020 don't it like it feels like we're back in blm again and that's because they have the heart they're trying their best to harness that same type of fervor and energy and i you know what a joke is not as funny the second time you hear it all right but uh before we dip on off, there's a couple things that I want to knock on out. Yeah, so um, her, and you know what? I kind of changed my mind. Ariel, even though you're kind of annoying, like I can, I know, like in the sack, you gotta be insane. But the rest of these broads, yeah, this is all. Oh, 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 oh. We're gonna put a maybe next to her. But yeah, that's a bunch of nope. That's a bunch of nope. That's a bunch of nope. Uh, that's Connie Britton. TV's Connie Britton. Yeah, no thank you. No thank you. Pink, no thank you. It, it, just a whole bunch of past-the-wall chicks. But uh, Leah, yeah, good job. Good job on being hot. And real quickly, boys, today, I go into my local Dunkin' Donuts. And there's a young man and um, I guess his grandmother or his great aunt, some some older woman there with him. And before I order, they place their order. Now, I go place my order and we have a little bit of small talk. In the small talk, she uh, she actually brings up November. And I'm looking at this older black woman. I know exactly who she's voting for and why she's voting for him and everything else like that. So I told her straight to her face. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Kamala's about to get white, okay? It, it's, it's, it's done so. And one of the things I started to bring up was like, you know, when she, you know how many black men she locked up. This woman looked me dead in my face and goes, black men deserve to be in jail. And I point to the young man she's with because he couldn't have been more than 10 or 11. I'm like, what did he do? What did I do? Why do we automatically just deserve to be in prison, right? And the pivot was like sharp, okay? She was pivoting like she like like she was trying to shake somebody out of their shoes in basketball, all right? So she pivots to, to stop and frisk. Oh, I love stop and frisk. Guess what? Rudy Giuliani did that. That has nothing to do with Kamala Harris. And then we go into the whole thing. I'm just, I, I laid it straight on out for him. Like, yeah, yeah, they stole 2020. What are you talking about? Like, <clears throat> man, I told her, like, you know, I, I ultimately, I told her, God bless you. Have a good day when I will have you. But, but it's really insane to me that 
be due to the layer of, oh, I like what just however I feel is the most important thing that the white women such as this have given black women over the since like, you know, the 60s and the 70s, once they started convincing us, it, it convincing them that we as straight black men were these evil predators and the like ever since then. um Like, yeah, they've given them this cushion of being beyond reproach. And with that cushion, they do not like they don't have to justify their feelings. There is no accountability for their own feelings, even within themselves, which is why she'll sit there and boldly make such a fucking statement in front of two black men. And then, you know, and and realize once she's in this trap, do all she can to pivot out of it. You get what I'm saying? Because, yeah, you really, I point once once it's pointed out exactly how terrible it is, what you think, how, like the, the way you feel, how unjustified you are in your feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to go there. You don't want to have that conversation. So I found that to be real interesting and just something I wanted to end off the video with. So guys, yeah, this whole Kamala Harris thing is a fucking joke and it, all it's done is prove me right, all right? It's it's not really, you know, left or right, Democrat, Republican. It's masculine versus feminine when in reality, that should never be the case because we aren't com competition. We are, you know... um components we are joints you know like if you ever look at a, a, a watch work right the gears they're not sitting there saying oh well hey other gear that that gear i'm a better gear than you you know say i'm a bigger gear than you are or, or anything else like that they're the gears and they know their place and they know their role and they make that watch work but you may disagree that's what comments are for till the next one <laughs>